Right, um, so today Body Battleground are interviewing Sive Murphy, um, a non-binary artist, uh, an activist with Rad Queers Resist, and uh, Sive is actually one of our shortlisted artists for Body Battleground. So yeah, Sive, if you'd like to tell us about your work. Yeah, so uh, my latest project is called Super Hyper Feminine Teen Dreamy Queer Universe, because I like simple names and minimalism. And it's all about um, queer femininity and exploring that and uh, kind of looking at how people express their queer femininity and um, what it means to them and the different ways it can come out. And then, aside from that, also exploring kind of traditional aesthetics of femininity, so really pink, fluffy, sparkly things, and kind of contrasting that between <coughs> sometimes the the mixed feelings that come with being a queer person and a feminine person. Uh-huh. So you use, like, your work in textiles, right, in photography, so they're kind of, um, like, it, your work in textiles is, like, kind of how you express that, mm -hmm. is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, um, I would describe myself as a textile artist, um, and I work almost always onto the body, because to me, the most exciting part is art that, like, directly works onto the body or works with the person. Mm -hmm. Um, so I kind of, tend to create wearable pieces or pieces that like wearable sculptures, costumes, that kind of thing. Um, and then the photography goes alongside that. So I create pieces to be photographed and then the photographs are of the pieces. So it all, mm -hmm. it all works together. Um, I like the photography aspect of it because I like to be able to kind of direct the viewer's gaze. I like to be able to create a sense of what I'm trying to portray. I like to be able to have a snapshot of the feeling that I want to portray, as opposed mm -hmm. to just having the artifacts there to be seen. Yeah. Um, so I'd say then with your choice of models, like I'd say like this kind of queerness probably comes into it as well, like with your community. Yeah, so yeah. Um, all the models I use for this project are queer feminine people, mm -hmm. um, and they happen to be pe people that were close to me just because it was easier. But um, through the project I worked a lot with the community as a larger aspect, so I did a lot of, a series of really simple portraits of queer feminine people and I did a lot of interviews and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, some of those were of my friends but then some of them were just people I didn't know, like I had people coming up from Galway, from Cork, all over the place because they heard about the project and they wanted to get involved so that was really nice. But, wow. um, yeah, the models specifically for my final outcomes were, um, they were kind of close to me which I think is nice because I wanted to create a sense of the community that mm. is built between queer feminine people. Yeah, I absolutely got that from your photographs. Yeah, it was a very like warm, connected kind of feeling. It was really empowering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I wanted to portray. So. <laughs> Great, yeah. Well, well done. Um, yeah. Okay, thanks, Sive. Thank you.